All right, let's take a look at this. <laughs> Sounds like a horse. <laughs> oh, and whoa! Is he missing teeth? Oh no, <laughs> he is yelling with gums. It's a lot better. As he comes in here. I still have a feeling that this right through there, he's accelerating. Whoop, right there. Just a bit fast. And probably there's something. Uh, you're easing in a bit on this guy here. You see that foot opens up, but then you see that, that frame there. Makes it kind of soft. And also this foot going this way. My awesome arrow versus this bam straight into that and then maybe with two frames sliding a bit forward I mean, it can be a hard plan but i would not go backwards and i wouldn't ease in this feels a bit weird that feels a lot better i'm a big fan of this i think what you can now you can have the tips go up a bit on the side. You have some flutter in the membrane here. So it's not so stiff, especially here. You want to bring up those wings and have a bit some flutter. You can always kind of throughout this section. I know it's short. Um, that membrane go up a bit and then go down. Just some overall tilting in the wings, just the bits. And by tilting, not like not going up and down, but kind of rotate, you know, just kind of adjusting. Some angles there. But through this, I would still stay within this type of thing where your, your tips are up. There's still resistance there. And then only here, by the time those wings fold. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, that was something in my throat. Holy moly. <coughs> so only as you go up and you fold those wings with the tips drag there that's cool through there i will probably i'll probably take this membrane this whole section uh and fold it away from us so it's a bit more like that probably like in this range just because it feels like once we get to here this and it gets even bigger it just seems like a lot of it's just an interesting shape but not super appealing to me that almost rectangle there yeah there's something where i would try to keep it a bit more like this and then throughout the course of the shot until around i guess once you get to here you can flatten it for the full resistance but make sure that if you if you look at it from the kind of top view that the tips would still go up. There's still resistance there. And then uh, as the wings fold and overlap, that's cool. It's just this kind of, it's just so, so blocky. Not sure what you can do with this. You can elongate this and shorten this to give this a bit more of a shorter look, but that's the rig, I guess. Huh? Uh, spacing wise, I'd be careful with things when you have this line here that goes up and then up and then up and then bam same height you want to continue and come back a bit so just spacing wise i'd be careful stuff like this and then you're going to have to separate the wings from the body here so as it impacts ba boom i would have a bit of a downward impact and then come back up and then all with nice arcs to then come into maybe around here-ish. You can hook up again just right now. It just feels very attached to this, which I know it is, but there's something about... Whoa, once you get into this here, feeling just a bit blocky. This whole thing is just so parented to the chest and moving because of chest changes and orientations. Not that you want to completely dislocate the uh, the wings and make it a separate thing, but I will give this 
boom through there just a bit more heavier downward impact and overlap that's a bit separated from this and then you can fold back into here but that's all cool that's cool i like all that fold out a bit that's cool probably here once they open up i'm looking at this shape here it goes and then open just from here here to here in the graph editor it feels like that curve goes and it's super linear and that would give this a bit of some a bit of contrast um that really line here but you know so it doesn't go straight but you kind of get in there and then can fast go into like a fast opening and then smooth out a bit more so it starts to open and then faster and then get into this that's cool. I'm not a uh, super fan of this last move here. Question is now, do you want to go like this or an end in that? To me, this overlap is a bit of a bummer here that you can't see that. That to me feels like you want to get into this and then not move that. Uh, his or its left wing forward. I think this is, I like this a lot more. Especially if there would be a slight different coloring. I know we can't change that, but so you get a bit of a, a difference between you know all of this here. But I would do this and not move that wing forward personally. I'm sure that's needed. Legs are cool. a bit separate this section through there that kind of separate move down i would kind of try to tie this more with this whole neck and again when this neck is moving it'd be cool to get that line to kind of go down it's kind of rotate down chest area it feels feels that neck feels a bit separated it's okay to have some ambient movement there but there's something about this moving a bit separately and that being cut off here it's cool with the roar if there's anything you can do and it's a pain in the butt but maybe you can move these guys back or i don't know if you can move that neck forward and scale that neck so it's a bit longer basically i'm trying to get something where and by by i try i'm i try i mean you try uh there's a difference um not difference between it's negative space between just that line here and the horn, which is cool, cool, cool. And then it's a bit of a tangent and an overlapping there. And especially again here, it's a bit of a bummer. And I would stay within something like this, where there's a nice gap there, even like up to here works. Even this here would work like that. It's cool. Get a bit of this in here, both of them. Or you take the horns and you scale them down, you know, if you don't want to start messing around with all the animation just take that piece and shorten it probably easier the tail is neat except through here i feel like it's a bit simple as it comes down could have a bit more of a side to side and then coming back up it feels all very much aligned with that line of action and a little bit of side to side would be kind of neat especially on this here a bit of a curve in come back out watch out Boop, right there hits a bit of a, a wall up there boom right there would soften that you can probably treat this a bit yeah like that maybe bring up that tail a bit higher and then bring it down it's almost like so dinosaurs have that type of um curvature down on the tails which like the instinct would kind of be to bring it up, but and I would be careful with the kink through there. Keep that pretty. I mean, here I guess you can bring it up again, but 
careful with too complex of a shape there. And then Sutton stops whoop, right there. That feels a bit, a bit harsh, hard stops there. It's cool. And I don't know if I would do this undulating kind of whoop, whoop, whoop. I don't mind the shakiness in it, but I will probably stay within this and again, go a bit higher into, whoa, not this, but so you have that following this and a bit more of a curvature. Where would you have it? It feels like that, but I would just go a bit higher here to then have the drop there. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't move it up and down only because of there's so much pain and tension and ah that this would be stiff and not just be so soft. Now there's something that to me is kind of contradicting this tension because this feels so soft. If that makes sense, so this feels different than this, and I would have that that pain and tension throughout. So stay within something like this, but you can still have some little bit of side to side vibration to kind of feel that tension. And I think it would probably be good to maybe take another look after Christmas. There's always a bit of a danger of getting too used to this. Even I have seen this a lot where I'm sure I'm missing a lot of things by now. I'm just kind of used to things. This here, watch out on the feet that it's not like if that's the middle toe that the other ones are you know, f like fully rotated outward a bit more 90 degrees. This seems almost like too much of a spread. It's cool though, again, overall so much better. And I really, really like that beginning. I think the way you had it before wasn't quite there yet, but the way and the curvature, because you mentioned in your email, um, you're struggling with the flight momentum, but I'm a fan of this. I like this. It's just still something that feels just here that dip still feels a bit fast anyway rambling on i'm gonna leave it at that the only thing i did here i also took a look um at the scene in terms of camera so this is same scenes so i did a little bit of a handheld feel to it some reframing a bit of an impact reframe here a little lower reframe there a little bit of keep alive handheld and then a reframe on this. Um, hold on, let's do side by side. Let's see how that lines up. A bit messy there, but you know, I can kind of see the staticness on the left and just kind of loosening it up on the right and just some reframes. It's nothing dramatic, but just takes a bit the stiffness of it out. Just some reframe at the beginning, especially there. But yeah, I'm just gonna look a quick stab at that camera, just kind of as a as an example. And I will attach the Maya scene to your email, so look out for that. So yeah, that's it from me. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.